G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today, I'm reading an old newspaper report about a Yowie sighting at Yatta Yatta in 1892. So we'll get into it. This was published in the Ulla Dulla and Milton Times, Saturday, the 2nd of July, 1892. Titled, Correspondence. It must be distinctly understood that we do not pledge ourselves to the opinions of our correspondents. To the editor, Sir, allow me space in your valuable columns to describe one of the most fearful hours I have ever spent in my life. Being a stranger in the district, I heard several rumours about a gorilla or hairy man having been seen in the district. And not thinking there was any truth in the statement, I asked several young fellows would they accompany me to the place as reported where it had been seen. And on Sunday night, 12th of June, we proceeded to the place, namely under the pointer, lighted a fire and got about 30, 40 yards away to watch for his lordship. Our curiosity was soon aroused by the appearance of the hairy man on all fours. The party got frightened at his ghastly appearance and ran. This roused the hairy man and he ran after us throwing stones, one of which hit one of the party on the leg, causing him to be lame for a week. He followed us for fully half a mile. He appeared to be about seven feet in height and terribly muscular. He was covered with a coat of long shaggy hair. His footprints, which we examined, were about 15 inches long, not unlike that of a human being, only having four toes instead of five. Anybody doubting this statement may visit the same spot which I shall be only happy to direct them. I remain yours respectfully. A.W. Smith, Yatta Yatta, June 26. Editor's Note. We feel sorry for this young man and his statement that he is a stranger in the district is quite unnecessary. In our mind's eye, we can see one of the guileless youths of Yatta Yatta enacting the part of the gorilla, while his uh, companions kept up the excitement with the victim of a practical joke. Editor, Ulla Dulla and Milton Times. The end. Well, that's amazing that the editor had to put that little note on the end saying virtually he doesn't believe him and that someone was playing a practical joke on him. Well, like, I'm sure they would know that who it was if there was a seven foot guy with 15 inch feet getting around, which I doubt very much. So I don't know why they put that in, but they did anyway. Okay, that's it from me. I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.